What's up guys and girls, my name is Superrebel123, so in today's video we're going to be talking about the 1.1 patch in GTA Online of a problem that it is causing a lot of players. So over on this website called cinemablend.com which I will link for you guys down in the description below it does say, some GTA 5 players have encountered an issue with the title update 1.1, a bug in the patch resets their progress in GTA Online, and someone on the Rockstar Games support website did say this. After the update and the problems known to your cloud server, my rank has been reset to level 1. GTA Online has loaded the initial tutorial and saved my profile. I opened a support ticket a week ago but I have not had an answer nor a solution. And towards the end it does say numerous other players chimed in on the thread with similar complaints. The bug seems to affect both PS3 and Xbox 360 owners. And the representative issued the statement once you gain the RP boost and playing free roam for some time usually around 15 to 30 minutes, you will get back your unlocks and be able to access your previous assets such as houses and cars. Now going back to the Cinema Blend website, it also does say GTA Online characters won't appear if the cloud servers are down. However, if you go back to single player campaign and return to multiplayer when the servers are up, your character should return with their progress intact. Whenever you want to log out of GTA Online, Rockstar encourages you to exit to story mode to trigger a save before you turn off your console. Otherwise, your recent purchases or unlocks might not be preserved. And just if you guys didn't know, the 1.1 patch was actually released last week along with the Valentine's Day Massacre DLC. And basically, Rockstar released this patch just to fix a few glitches in the game. For example, the changes in the character's appearance to duplicate in vehicles. And lastly, a way for players to exploit reputation points. So if you have been affected by this bug and lost all your houses and cars, don't worry, like I said, just carry on playing for 15 to 30 minutes and you should eventually get get all your cars, houses and all that stuff back. Now Rockstar Games are also encouraging you to submit a request if you have been affected by this bug, so if you would like to do that I will leave a link for that as well down in the description below. And all you will have to do is provide your gamer tag or your PSN ID, the date and time of the problem, and a description of your progress you lost. So that explains why you have lost all your houses and cars or anything like that for example, gone all the way back to level 1, just don't worry because there's nothing serious of course it's just a bug. But that's it for today's video, as always if you enjoyed it be sure to punch that like button it'll be really appreciated if we can get this video to 100 plus likes and if you guys are new to this channel thank you for stopping by please do hit that subscribe button below for more news updates ideas and stuff like that that would also be really appreciated and of course you will become part of the amazing awesome beautiful team but either way i will see you in my next video but until then guys adios amigos